going live right now. I just wanted to hop on. One of my members wanted to talk and see me actually do um, my actual setup for going live and actually putting baskets together all the way to shipping out to our customers. So I'm just going to do a quick live here. I figured the video is probably a little bit lengthy to actually send over a message. So if you guys have any questions, by all means, you can comment here. But I'm just going to go over the basics of going live all the way to um, collecting your customer information, collecting payment, and then packaging up your your pieces that they just bought and shipping it over to your customer okay so some of the supplies you're going to actually need are quite simple like i said try to keep it simple and try to go as free as possible but make life easier by whatever you need just try to have it available to you okay so in order to go live obviously you need some type of device um, to set up your live system and you can go live on Facebook for up to four hours on a mobile device or you can go on Instagram for up to an hour. Um, I'm going live right here on YouTube. You can use other apps to try to go live but um, the normal standard um, criteria to go live on YouTube is a thousand subscribers or more. Um, some of the supplies you're going to need is like a pegboard and the reason why you need this is to hold your jewelry whether you're going to show it and then put it back on or you can prep your jewelry and put it on here. Try to keep it simple, but you're gonna need some type of pegboard to hold your jewelry. You can keep them in little baskets if you so please. However you do decide to do that, just make sure it's available to you. So after you show the jewelry or you're pulling it to show, you can put it back where it needs to go. You're gonna wanna also label pieces. So as you get new pieces in, for example, I do have this system. If you haven't watched my inventory process flow yet, be sure to check that video out on my YouTube channel. And um, basically, this is going to be right side up if you can't see it right now. But this is E225. Basically, I have all my earrings numbered E001 all the way until my last earring. And I keep adding it on with some of these supplies. So what you're going to need is obviously your jewelry. You're going to need a protector sheet and you're going to need labels. These labels are gonna help you out. And all you do is write the letter and the number. So I have a quick systematic thing. All my earrings start with the letter E. And it's like I said, chrono chronological order. All my bracelets will start with B. All my necklaces will start with N. I have long necklaces, so I start them with L. It's kind of self-explanatory, but you can watch my inventory video on that. What's important is that you actually prep your pieces before you actually show. You can do it during your live as well, but just remember people are there to shop, so you'll have more time to actually show more jewelry if you already do this beforehand. But there's times where we play catch up, so we can just do our inventory while we speak, which is why I'm going to do it with you right now. So I'm going to show you, this is what I already have in place. I already prepped this jewelry. I do have a Shopify store and I do use an auto commenting system, but we're going to keep it back to keeping it simple. So protector sheet, label, some type of Sharpie to be able to write that number and numerical down and, um, and your jewelry. So I have two pieces right here that I'm going to put one on my pegboard to show, keep the extra plastic in here and any extra inventory will go in here. Now, I can show it during my live and I can physically tell them that I have two of these earrings left, okay? Now, since I'm on Shopify, not only does the actual pictures go on here from my paparazzi website using that CSV format, um, it has this code on it as well, E225, which is what I'm going to label this piece with, okay? So once again, I got this. I'm going to open it up. Like I said, you can do it during your live because people do love the crackle. Some don't, some do. Um, but it's whatever time you have. And then I'm going to put that extra plastic here and this will get stored away in my inventory, which would just be my bins. That'll look like this all in chronological order. So all my E's zero zero one through whenever, which I have several bins will be in there. And once again, the reason for that is because when your customer pays, you just have to reach into that specific one. If they claim E two, two, five and fulfill it. Okay, so that numbering system is amazing. So here are the brass earrings that I have for E225. And what I'm going to do is put a number to it, okay, which is E225. So I'm going to just write down. These supplies should already be in my inventory flow. But I'm just reshowing it because you need some type of base to understand what I'm doing before I move on, okay? So there you got it, E225, ready for a live right there. Whether you're doing a shop the wall, whether you're showing it live in person, it's totally cool. So once again, this will get filed or I can keep it here with me since I already know how many there is. So now we're ready to do, um, actually before we do the live, some other supplies we might need is 
we got our pegboards, we got our labels, we got our bin to file away with the wrapper. Um, consider when you ship free pieces and your shipping fee. So when we're talking about our live, we're welcoming up our audience. Aloha, my name is Kyra Santos. I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Welcome to my Wednesday night live, for example, right? Tuesday night live, whatever it is. Or we if we can do a theme, my Hawaiian theme tonight, right? Or reds and greens tonight, my Christmas theme. I hope your day is going good. If you are actually just joining us in today, please drop on by and say hello. And then also talk about sharing. So if you're on here, I'm doing a shared giveaway. So be sure to click on that shared arrow and share it out to your personal timeline. Be sure to comment. I usually say hashtag shine because that helps me see their name. Usually if they do the share correct, they have the sharer above their actual name when they comment. Okay. Or you can see it above their, um, their actual Facebook or Instagram name. So you could give your shared giveaway prize at your next live so you can check to who so you can actually check who actually shared and do the drawing the next live or you can give it away towards the ending of your live the reason why you want to do it towards the end of your live is because you want people to stay on your live and watch you show jury okay we're here to sh we're here to have fun and we're here to sell jury right so that's as far as um doing the shared giveaway and then you just start showing jury Ask engaging questions. What do you guys have planned today? Who's working? What's your guys' favorite color? Let's play a game, right? And there's so many different games. I also have a video that you can also search on my YouTube channel talking about simple games that you can run during your live, okay? Now, throughout the time, you just always want to keep it fun and engaging. Make sure your appearance is nice. Make sure you're, you know, you're nice and neat. You're not just like your hair is all disheveled and so forth, okay? Keep it nice, keep it simple, and then make sure that your area in the background is clean. Nobody needs to see any of your clutter that is hidden. Nobody needs to see it. Just keep, make sure your background is nice and clean and you're ready for your live, okay? Um, talk about in the beginning also how you collect payment. So be sure to click on my postable link so you can complete the information as far as gathering information for your customer. And then what you, disheveled, yes, babes. Babe, I have Kia Boy here. Can you grab him, please? I got my, my two-year-old. Can you say hi to everybody? Mm. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, everybody. Uh -huh. We were just eating some Lucky Charm cereal. So um, what you could do is also Mom. share your socials. Yes, sharing out is very important. Mama. Yes. I'm watching phone. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I do have this extra phone you can watch. But yes, um... Keeping it simple so you yeah. actually have time to actually um, show jury and have fun doing it, right? One of the reasons why we always love to sh to um, go live is just to have fun, right? So I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible so we um, don't go lo super long. You okay? Okay. <laughs> Let people know where to find. Yes, yeah, so when you're talking and inviting people in, do not be silent in the beginning, please. Welcome everybody and just keep talking. Keeps your customers engaged. When people are scrolling, they want to see somebody that's happy, right? They're going to shop with somebody that's happy, not somebody that's like, right? That's boring. So be sure to do that. Um, tell everybody where to actually like and follow you. So you know my YouTube channel. You can join my VIP group at Shine with Aloha VIP. Just search for that, Shine with Aloha VIP on Facebook, and you'll find me. Ask to get access to um, my VIP group. And we do a whole bunch of things. We do games, sometimes we do tax-free, free shipping, all that good stuff. And you get to see new pieces that I purchase also from paparazzi. Um, I'll talk about paparazzi. You know, everything is $5, let a nickel free. Wait, and this will help keep your customers engaged and help people come in while you're doing it. Other than that, get ready to show jury. No matter if you have zero people on your live, show jury and act like you have hundreds on your show. That's what you need to always remember. Don't wait for people to come on. You can keep the comments engaging. You can talk a little bit in the beginning, but start showing jury because people watch the replay all the time. And you can get sales off the replay, but if you're doing nothing for the first five minutes, no one's gonna watch, all right? Just being honest and real with you. So anyways, 
now that you got that, you're going to want to make sure that you have your Postable set up. So Postable.com is a free website to teachers, which we are mentors and teachers, and that allows us to collect our customer information. Why do we need that? Because in order to mail off your jury and invoice them, you need your customer information. So all you need to do is just go to Postable.com, P-O-S-T-A-B-L-E.com, sign up, it's free. And then um, that's going to it's going to give you a link that is specific to your business and you share that out and people, your customers will fill that out. They only need to fill it out once unless they have to update their address. Other than that, they're good to go. Pirate Ship is another free website that gives you discounts on shipping. Why do you want discounts on shipping? Because you can save money shipping to your customers. PirateShip.com. I also have a um, couple videos on my YouTube channel that will help guide you to setting up your Pirate Ship. It is a little technical. You have to put your credit card to it because it charges your shipping there. But trust me, you save an average of about a dollar each package instead of going to the post office. You do need a printer to be able to print the shipping label. You can print it on a piece of paper and just tape it with just tape onto your bubble mailers, or you can use um, a therm uh, some type of sticky label on your printer or your thermal printer. Whatever will work for you, okay? Either works fine, but you do need a printer in order for your pirate ship to work. That prints your labels, which like I said, saves you tons of money. Check out my YouTube channel for the pirate ship videos and you can find all how to set it up there. How are you gonna collect payment? The, nor the common way is Square and PayPal. So you're gonna have to research that on how to set that up. It's super easy. Just look through your apps, search for PayPal, and sign up doing that as well. So that's gonna allow you to actually invoice your customers to collect payment. And collecting payment is important because you can actually collect payment using your credit card. There's other ways, some have Cash App, Venmo. It's really up to you on how you actually work your business. But just know that you need something to collect payment. Thanks, Daddy. Um, to collect payment from your customers. Now, here's the cool thing. I show my jury during my live, and I have them comment E225 if they like these earrings. Let's just say I have a customer, and she comments E225. I do not put this in her basket to claim, okay? Because we know the headache that if somebody doesn't pay or claim, that you have to put all that jury back, okay? This is the cool thing. Since I already labeled this, I can put it right back. And whether I get a sale during my live or on a replay, when they pay because they filled out my postable, I put their information in Pirate Ship, and I collected payment through PayPal, or the order is more like they filled out their postable, I collected payment through PayPal, and now I'm working their label through Pirate Ship. All I have to do is go to my inventory and grab that earrings that they wanted. Boom, and do it. And I only have to do it when they pay. Okay, that's the that, that's what I'm telling you. You only have to fulfill orders when they pay. If um, Mary claimed E225 on your live, and then she claimed their bracelet on the replay, you do not have to pull a single item until she pays. Yes, she'll need to fill out the postable, right? Which is the link to fill out her information. Yes, you'll need to invoice her. And once she pays, now you can fulfill her items. Now, however, I am on Shopify and I do have an auto commenting system called Buy It Live. But like I said, you can keep it simple. You don't need the systems. I just use it because um, I ha Shopify is an online store, so it holds all my inventory. Do you need it? No, you don't. So it's because it's what, however you want to work your business, right? And then... Um, I use Buy It Live to create auto carts for me. And I love it because I don't have the time to invoice, but I am learning so much on invoicing. So I'm doing both. I'm really doing both. And the Buy It Live system is really helping me when I actually go live. I can still invoice through Shopify. So that's the cool thing right there. So this is what it's going to somewhat look like when you actually, um, for Shopify. And it's just so you know how to fulfill your orders. So let's just say Mary claimed one piece. You can even have it written. Mary claimed one piece, and you know what piece it is because you have to know what she claimed, right? You can put that in your in invoice. So when you invoice Mary, you can say she claimed E225 times one, bracelet B001 times three, right? And so when you fulfill, when she makes a payment, and now you know what to fulfill. Now you know how many earrings of this one she needs to put in her package, okay? So I'm sure you guys got the flow. You went live, people claimed, they filled out your postable link, 
you pay you invoice them either through paypal or square you um now got their order to fulfill, right? So now you're gathering your pieces. Now this is where you can use the basket if you want, right? However you want to do it so you can leave it, you can fold it, right? So Mary's order will be in here. And when I actually go to fulfill this, which is going to be in a bin filed away, right? In your inventory, I'm going to go through my bin and I'm. she bought one earring. So I'm going to grab an earring out. This goes right back where you pulled it from. And then it goes into her basket. So one of the things that I really like to use is going to be um, this actual, okay, can you go sit over here? Thank you, son. And then I like to use this one right here. It's just a manila envelope. Like I said, I had these things already. I already had manila envelopes and I had a lot of these binder clips, okay? So what I did was I took advantage of what I had, okay? And so what I did was for my piece of paper, whether it's, your PayPal printout, whether it's your Shopify or whether it's just a piece of paper that says Mary and the pieces that she bought. All I do is clip it there and I can stack it in a nice 10 by 10 box, right? A paparazzi, which is free. And it goes right in there. And I can have all my orders for pay paid orders on here. Okay. So now I can pull my paid orders because I ship once a week or how often, however often you ship. I'll pull my paid orders here and I'll start fulfilling it, right? So she got, oh, E225. So I'm gonna go to my bin, grab E225, put it there, mark it. Now, one thing that I noticed too was that if they buy multiples, I like to put multiple check marks. So if she bought two bracelets, I'm gonna put check mark, check mark after I grab those bracelets, okay? And that just helps me confirm that I got two bracelets in that package. I actually put two bracelets in there, okay? So that's um, these orders. Now that I gathered all the items that this customer had paid for, now I'm gonna ship it off. Some of the supplies you need to ship off are gonna be your bubble mailers. You can grab it from Amazon, US bubble, usmailers.com, wherever is the most affordable, and it looks decently cute. White is gonna be the standard, which is the cheapest, but I, I like to change it up every so often and get some pink ones. You can get these free on usps.com. Um, it's going to be your flat rate envelopes. This is a size 9.5 times 12.5. It is a padded envelope. And these are flat rates. This is the most common one you're going to use for um, people outside of your local area that you're shipping off to for over a pound. This is going to save you money. The shipping rates is a little bit up during this time. It's currently $8.75. Prior to the holiday season, it was a flat rate of $8. So it is projected to go down, but who knows? We'll see. If you're just jumping on, come on and say hello. This is free. You can actually go to usps.com and order these, however many you want, and they'll ship it over to your home, okay? So I put, I don't need obviously to use this and pay $8.75 for this shipping for one piece of jewelry. So I'm going to use this bubble mailer right here. Just, just take it or, or, okay, thank you. So, um, and I put this piece of jewelry in here, okay? So that's basically what I'm going to need in order to put my jewelry in there. Another helpful thing that I love to use is tissue paper. Um, yes, this is an added expense, but it is going to help provide some cushioning with some cute stickers because you don't want your jewelry breaking to your customer when they get it, okay? So putting that in there. Another free thing you can use, I also have a video of all free things that paparazzi gives us that we can use. So be sure to check that out on my YouTube channel. My bubble mailers are free from paparazzi. You can use this to wrap the jewelry. Just remember that these things do add a little bit of added weight, um, which is obviously gonna drive your costs up for your shipping. But, so use your discretion on what to use so it can help you provide a cushioned piece of jewelry going out to your customers, all right? So another thing you're gonna want when you're mailing off is, um, you got your shipping labels, bubble mailers. Ooh, that's actually it. So when you create your shipping labels on pirateship.com, you'll print it out, piece of paper, or either your actual shipping sticky label. You'll put it on your bubble mailer, right? So this is the sticky label right here. You'll put it on your bubble mailer and drop it off at the post office. You don't need to stand in line. They actually have a prepaid either bin or a drop off area that you just take to the post office. On pirateship.com, you'll also see my video that says that you can schedule your pickups with your post postal man. For me, I live in a shared mailbox area, so we don't have that 
that functionality. But I can when my post my postman or postwoman is fulfilling um, my our actual shared mailbox. I can actually still drop it off with them because it's already a prepaid label, and I can drop it off with them rather than going to the post office. So if I do see them while I'm on my way, I just drop it off there. If not, I just head on over to the post office and I'll drop it off there. So that's really how you would do the flow of an actual live, gathering your customer information, invoicing them, creating their shipping label and packaging up their goodies so they can actually get it in the mail. I hope this actually helped you guys understand the quick process of actually going live and actually fulfilling your orders all the way to your customers. So from the beginning to the end, pretty much. Please be sure to watch other videos on my YouTube channel. They're going to help you guys out so much. Um, keep it simple. Like I said, if you're running a game or you're playing engaging questions, just keep it simple so you can run it smoothly and still show jury in the meantime. Alrighty, you folks have a blessed day. If you are interested in joining the Shine with Aloha team and rocking your business with paparazzi or just shopping at the wholesale price of $2.75, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of something really quick before I end this live. The jewelry that I'm wearing right now is important to wear during your live and make sure you have multiples. I also have this set obviously available to wear. Once you put the jewelry on and you actually wear it because you intend to wear it and show it off, that becomes in your personal inventory. And per compliance of paparazzi, you this is no longer sellable, okay? So these are my cute pieces that I love and I own. I just love this green and it just matches my outfit so cute. But I have this also available because I always like to show pieces that I have multiples of, okay? That I can sell. So I'll show this necklace and I'll show this up and I'll tell everybody this is the pieces that I'm wearing. Okay, so this is the set of the day, right? Um, have it available here to show. You can pull your phone off the wall, shop the wall, because everything is all set up for me. I love to show in sets, okay? So make sure that you show in multiples because people want to see what matches what. So recommend to show in multiples. So here's a pair of earrings. You can rock a short necklace with this pair of earrings right here, or you can rock a long necklace right here. So however you're gonna show it, okay? And um, so usually I just do N497, and people have ways of, of holding their jewelry, so this is what I can do like that. N497, if you want these earrings to go with it, then just comment E462, and this is a cute matching blue and silver set. Now, if you love a short necklace to go with this as well, you can also do this. So, like I said, people have different ways of holding it. It's however you want to hold it, right? I have my mannequin here too that I can actually normally put it on. So, I'll show the jewelry up front like that. And then you can show it like this. And you can show the earrings next to each other so people can kind of gauge and see it. Okay? Always matching sets and always um, show matching sets if possible and show it up to your ears so they see what it looks like as they can see me rocking these earrings. So if you do love these earrings, you can also comment right here. E637, this is sellable as well. And I can actually send an invoice. I'll send you my postable link as well. So if you like these earrings, just comment E637 and N475. You can also end your live with joining paparazzi. So like I said, if you're interested in joining paparazzi, you can direct message me. You can comment here. We have promotions pretty much every month. You can save by buying this for $2.75 instead of $5. The Z necklaces right here are sold for $25. We can buy it on the website at $16.25, whatever is available. Consultants also have access to the Starlet Shimmer, which is our kid pieces. And... um. Right here is our kid pieces, K044, and it comes in a five pack. This is a cute C, like a beach one. It has like a palm tree and so forth. Um, so yeah, only consultants have access to the kid jewelry. So if you're just shopping as a customer on the website, you won't see kid jewelry on the paparazzi website because it's only accessible to consultants. So if you're interested in joining the Shine with Aloha team, and like I said, we have three affordable kits. It's only $99 to start up comes at 35 pieces of jewelry, your basic tools to get started to include a paparazzi planner, and you'll have the support of myself and your entire upline and Papa brothers and sisters. So we have more than enough training resources to get you started on a successful plan. But I'm happy I could create this video also um, in addition to many other videos 
because my team continues to grow and I want you to grow too. So contact me at shinewithaloha at gmail.com if you're interested or you can comment here. I'm also on Facebook at shinewithaloha. I'm also on Instagram at shinewithaloha808. I'd love to get to know you more and hopefully you join my team. Have a blessed day and be blessed and don't forget to let God's light and love shine through you. Aloha.